I got to tell you what a what a weird kid this Eric the Midget is. I got a funny story. You know Eric the Midget. Everyone, of course. Knows. Is he even yeah. a kid or is he? I don't know what he is. Forty eight year old man calls That's all the time. The problem with being a little person calls all the time. You know, well, you know, he wants to do stuff. And you, you know, <laughs> give me this. Give me that. Well, lately, he's been calling me. He wants to be an actor. So I was like, oh, all right. Put I'll me in Porky. He says, no, you put me in Porky. Put me in Porky. He's like, okay, I'll set up an audition. No, no, no. My family's afraid you'll make fun of me. So anyway, he kept he kept calling me. He goes, I want to be on American Dreams, whatever the hell that is. That's the Dick Clark show about the 60s. Okay. Loves the show, wants to be an actor on it. So I'm like, oh, yeah, right. So the guy, Jonathan Prince, who's the executive producer of American Dreams, he's on the phone now. Let me get him waiting. Hey, Jonathan, how you doing, man? Hey, Howard. I got to tell this story. So Jonathan calls and says, hey, if Eric the Midget wants to be on American Dreams, I'll put him on. I, I, I heard you were, he was uh, calling in and bothering Dick when Dick was on the show. Yeah. So, so, so wait, you, wait, you got to hear this. So we call Eric the Midget at home and we go, Eric, we're going to call you on the air, you know, 9 o'clock New York time. <laughs> we're going to call you on the air and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do something really great for you. Right. So he goes, I've got to go to the doctor. I'm not, I'm going to have my phone off the hook. I don't want to be disturbed by you guys. Oh. <laughs> so we go, look, stupid. We're telling you something good's going to happen. I, 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 I don't trust you guys. I don't, so his phone's off the hook. He won't answer? Yeah. If he doesn't call in within four minutes, <laughs> he does, he's not going on American Dream. Because, Jonathan, what would you have done for him had he called in? <laughs> I heard that uh, when I was listening to the show and he was telling Dick that, you know, there were little people around protesting in the 60s and little, <laughs> little people hated the Vietnam War, too. Right. So I was talking to Dick afterwards and I said, you know, yeah, I guess there were little. I mean, I didn't know anybody back then. I wasn't, you know, I was three. But I'm sure there were. And, boy, that'd be fun. Let's put him on. I'd love to listen to Howard. It'd be fun to do. Why not? What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? It'd be a good sort of stunt. It'd be great. I, I guess I, I guess this was his audition, and he uh, he didn't show up for the audition. This is what happens every time with him. You know what? I like this better than if he had actually gotten on American Dreams. The right. fact that he wouldn't take our phone call. Yeah. Well, now you'll be able to tease him relentlessly. It'll be yeah. great. Now really it'll be great because we can drag this out for years. And Jonathan, don't put him on, even if he calls you. Well, now, how's he going to get in touch with me? I was only going to do it through you. <laughs> Come on, call, cool, Eric. I, I heard if I called you, you were going to take 10% of his salary anyway as his agent. So. That's right. We're the go-between. I thought, wow, booker. what a nice moving thing. Because Eric's got his yeah. problems. I'm like, hey, I got him a shot on American Dreams. And that's exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to be a Vietnam protester. Yeah, so I, <laughs> now I got it all lined up for him, and he won't take it, won't take uh, the phone call. So now all day he's going to be kicking himself in the head. Yeah. Well, he didn't trust you were going to do a truly benevolent gesture. I think that would... Uh, that I've done more nice stuff for that kid than anybody he's on the planet. He's always nice oh, to yeah, him. I course. give him money. I give him all kinds of opportunities. It's high-pitch Eric who jerks him around. Of course. High-pitch. No, it was Kelly Clarkson who jerked him around. <laughs> how, old was, how old is he? I don't know. He's but he's like a, a grown a, man. I think. Man. Yeah, he's, I think he might be in his late 20s. He's a man, about. but he's not grown. Well, he's <laughs> grown as much as he's going to. He's a not actor man. That's what he is right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, we, I listened to the show. And we were just talking about how much fun it would be to say that we booked somebody through with the Howard Stern show to put that person on the show, you know, American Dreams. Well, you know, hey, Jonathan, right thanks. But uh, that I was guess a great idea. American Dreams is uh, on the air. It's on Sunday nights at 8 o'clock on NBC, but you won't be seeing it with Eric the Midget. No, it'll be, we'll be a midget free this Sunday. You're midget free. <laughs> All right, Jonathan, thank hey, you. Thank you, Howard. Bye. Wow. Oh, wait till he hears this. That kid is such a loser. I really tried for him. Yeah. I can't believe I missed it. I don't it trust Listen you. to this. I will. Uh, turns out I won't be able to take the call tomorrow morning. I have to uh, be at the doctor's today. So obviously I have to get some sleep before the appointment. So unfortunately I cannot take the call. Okay? My phone will be off the hook. So I'll, I'll talk to you maybe sometime after the show, after I you know, come back from the doctor and stuff. All right. Bye for now. He's going to call later. <laughs> He's going to yeah. call much. Uh, oh, this is funny. This what? is so great. What? Hey, Eric. Hello, Howard. It's not oh, I want to be on that show, too. <laughs> Get in a wheelchair and cut off your legs. <laughs> Where's my Eric the Midget phony phone call? Uh, 
The high pitch one? Yeah. <laughs> That's a classic. I love the one where you Hello, Gary. Yeah. Gary. <laughs> hey, wait, I got a I got this is kind of cool. I can play this for you. I got email, I got all kind of stuff here, but I don't know what to play. Should I play a little high pitch? Yeah. All right. High pitch calls Eric the Midget. That's Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I do love this. And then I'll take your phone calls. Hello. Hello. This is Kelly Clarkson. Is this Eric the Midget? This is not Kelly Clarkson. This is more than likely high pitch, isn't it? No. Who's high pitch? This is Kelly Clarkson. I think you're very cute. High pitch, give it up. I know it's you. A moment like this. Some people wait a lifetime. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how are you? It's KC. Okay. <laughs> hey, you want in on the football pool? <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, Eric, what's up with the Oakland A's this weekend? They won yesterday. How many touchdowns did the A's make? The wrong sport. Football, baseball, my balls. What's the difference? They're all going in your... <laughs> no, they're not. Come on, it's KC here. Nice. How many of those midget fingers can you fit in my... <laughs> None, because I wouldn't try. Come on, I got a lollipop for you. I don't give a... I got taffies for you, too. Uh, Speak I... up, you Ewok. Hey, listen, you've been a good sport. Uh -huh. Let me put Gary on the phone. Okay. Can, can you hold on? Yes. Hello, hello, this is Gary Delabonte. <laughs> no, it's not. I can tell it's Eric. Or high pitch Eric. It's Gary, how are you? It's high pitch. It's I can tell the damn thing. Hi, hi, this, hi, it's Gary Delabonte. Can I help you? <laughs> I'm here eating chocolate. Let's talk. <laughs> high pitch. I can tell it's you. My voice sounds a little different because I have a mask on. <laughs> I have a wellness mask on. So that ma mask makes you sound exactly like high pitch. This is the real deal, okay? Whatever. Okay, good. Let me ask you this. What are you wearing? I'm not answering that question. Hey, this is Gary now. I highly doubt Gary Delabonte would be asking me that question. Drop your pants. <laughs> Let's get down to business. <laughs> no, I'm not high pitch. I'm not a moron. Okay. You try to pass yourself off as Gary. Come on. I can tell people's voices. Okay. That's why you I also me. know. Do you know who it is? It's high pitch. No. It's Artie Lang. Fire! <laughs> Are you ready for some dirty deeds? <laughs> Eric, it's Artie. Come on. No, it's not. Let's drink some Jack of Waters! High pitch. Knock it off. Right. Can you get that through your head? Oops. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. oh. Man. <laughs> and now you missed out on being on American Dreams. <laughs>